Hi friends, this is Aishwarya from Treasuresworld.com. Welcome to our YouTube channel on Jobs and Careers. The topic that we are going to look today is Averages. In the previous video of Average, we dealt with the basic concept of Averages and some simple sums. In this video, we will be solving much more tougher problems to understand this concept better. So let's get started. The first question that they have given is, the average age of ABC is 28 years. If the average age of B and C is 29 years, what is the age of A in the years? So, if you see in averages, it's more like ages concept where you have to split the question, understand it better. You can see that the answer is always inside the question if you understand it better. So, let's see, let's split the question first. Average age of ABC is 28 years. So, how do we write this? Average of ABC, A plus B plus C divided by 3 is equal to 28 years. What is the second part of the question? If the average age of B and C is 29 years. B and C average is 29 years. We are asking for what is the age of A. The age of A is the one that we have to find. So let's just solve these two. So A plus B plus C, this can be multiplied here. 28 into 3 is 24, 3 to 7, 8. So it is A plus B plus C is equal to 84 years. So next go to this question. B plus C by 2 is equal to 29. So B plus C is equal to 9, 18, 58. So now we have two equation a plus b plus c is equal to 84 and b plus c is equal to 58. Once we subtract it we know that we will obviously get the age of a. So a plus b plus c is equal to 84, b plus c is equal to 58. So let's subtract it. So b we gets cancelled, we get the value of a, subtract it, 6, 26. So, the age of A in years is nothing but 26 years. So, what did we do here? We split the question into three. First, we took the average of A, B and C. Then, we took the average of B and C. So, once you subtract it, you got the value of A. Let's go to the next question. So, the next question is, the average of 10 numbers is 8. If the average of first 9 numbers is 7, find the 10th number. So, as usual, let's split the question. First, they are given average of 10 numbers is 8. So, Average of 10 numbers is 8. Then the total value will be nothing but 10 into 8 which is nothing but 80. What is the second part of the question? If the average of first 9 numbers is 7. So the average of the first 9 numbers is 7. So then the total value becomes 9 into 7 which is nothing but 63. So this has the first 10 numbers. This has a first 9 numbers. So 10 minus 9 which is nothing but the last 10th number value you will get. So nothing but you have to subtract 80 minus 63. Which is nothing but 10 minus C is 7. 17. So the 10th number is nothing but 17. So what did we do here? So they have given the question the average of 10 numbers. We find the total value of it. Then they have given the average of first 9 numbers. So we got the total value of it. If you subtract it you will obviously get the 10th number. Let's solve you another question. The next question is, the average of 10 numbers is 8. What will be the new average if each number is multiplied by 5? Let's split the question as usual. Average of 10 numbers is 8. The average of 10 numbers is 8. Which is nothing but the total value is 10 into 8 which is nothing but 80. What will be the new average if each number is multiplied by 5? Which is nothing but, so we know the total value is 80. We are telling each number is multiplied by 5. Which can be written as 80 into 5 which is equal to 400. So what are they asking? They are not asking you to find the total. They are asking you to find the new average. So we know the total value is 400 and the total number of numbers is 10. So 400 by 10 will give you the average. So 400 by 10 which is nothing but 40. So 40 will be your new average. So what we did here, so the earlier 10 numbers average is 8. So we got the total value. Then we multiplied it with the number they told that which can be multiplied with each number to get the new average. So we multiplied the given number into the total we found out divided by the total number of numbers which will give you the new average. Let's go to another sum. So the next question that I have given is average of 5 consecutive odd numbers starting with 5. So odd number 1, 2, 3, 
4 and 5 and we are starting with 5 so it's 5 7 9 11 13 instead of adding all this and dividing it by 5 if you have seen our first video we have told a trick that consecutive numbers you always the middle number is the average so you can directly write it as 9 so in this case it's a very small question where they have asked for starting with 5 there are certain questions if they will ask for starting with 91 or starting with 93 then you don't have to add each and every number and divide it by 5 so in case of the consecutive numbers always the middle part is nothing but the average so you directly write it as 9 so in this video we dealt with the basic problems that falls under averages in the upcoming videos we'll be dealing with different types of problems in averages which you will face in an aptitude exam so if you are a person who is looking for a job, kindly register in our freshersworld.com. Like this video, subscribe to our channel. Thank you.